Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jami and I'm back with a brand new video on that channel. And today we're going to be discussing and talking and going over the new GTA Online Summer 2023 DLC. Now in this video, I want to go over the release date because it is coming up really soon. We're going to get an announcement really soon from Rockstar. So I do want to discuss that obviously and get more into that when we're going to actually get an official trailer, a teaser and stuff like that, as well as the theme. So we're going to be going over everything that you guys need to know right here on the channel for the 2023 Summer GTA Online DLC. LC. so if you guys want to stay tuned with all the latest information i got you guys covered just make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you guys don't miss out on future uploads when i do upload video topics like these and much more also to get more people to see this video make sure you guys leave a like of course okay so it's around that time right now when rockstar is getting ready to make an announcement for a new summer dlc whether that's we get a little teaser or an announcement official you know big announcement which we could get very very soon which i will touch on and go over of course course so i wanted to touch on the theme of the summer dlc so a lot of you guys are we are we're always talking about this on my live stream on the streaming gta line and when we get to talking about upcoming dlcs there's not really much left you know for rockstar to do because we're going to be getting gta 6 really soon next year in my opinion so with that being said there's probably only a few dlcs left so they're going to make them probably pretty massive with this summer update the winter update and also in this video i forgot to mention in the beginning i started this video that i do want to go over briefly about is this going to be the last dlc this summer for old gen meaning xbox one obviously and ps4 and it only being for the new generation and i will get into detail a bit what i think it very well could be the last and final dlc for old gen okay so the main theme that i really think that could be the dlc for the summer is a michael dlc now i know it's probably not the most hype at this point at one point it was last year when it was kind of being teased and actually was leaked it was leaked by test 2 that it was going to be michael themed and even rockstar themselves teased it when franklin you know and in, in his own dlc that he got for the contract dlc it he teased talking about michael you know in during a mission so it's obvious you know how active he's been on the social medias with rockstar and stuff like that that he's gonna maybe have his final appearance in gta line and be the first time we ever see him in online you know for you know a dlc so that'd be awesome to see him back and to get a little bit more into the theme of that i feel like obviously it'll be a movie type theme dlc i mean i could be totally wrong but i feel like it'll be some sort of maybe i don't know maybe heist reunion with franklin which i think will be dope or you know it could just be like a movie theme dlc you know which it's kind of been teased you know the salt the solomon props we did for him and michael officially never making his well he didn't make his movie in you know the uh you know the single player but just like maybe we fly somewhere maybe to like let's say you know for the first time I ever go to you know liberty city this is like far-fetched at this point but maybe only for ninja we get to go there a little teaser you know of like what it's like to finally go to another map you know and uh for a brief mission or something like that it would be so cool or maybe then go back to north yankton with with trevor to run it back or i don't think trevor's gonna come back at this point because of like the fallout or whatever they had you know going on him and rockstar but definitely with franklin you know maybe make a return heist to north yankton or something like that i think would be so cool and then just have it maybe like a contract part two theme but hopefully make it a lot better and not focus on music now another highly anticipated dlc that we've been wanting for the longest time is cops and crooks now i know that word has been thrown around so much like at this point as much as gta 6 and you know i feel like at this point it might not even be called cops and crooks it probably be called something entirely different it might not even be involved with just cops in general it might just be you know for fib get like fib type clothing and you know fib type police type vehicle as well but maybe we do get to work at the police station and do police type stuff i don't know about like police type role play because that's obviously obviously you know for you know like 5m but maybe rockstar can maybe make it happen we'll see you know but uh cops and crooks dlc is still up in the air because the files are still yet to be released there's been some stuff that they you know obviously had in the files because it was set to be released back in 2020 but due to the current times back then and what was happening in the world they were unable to release that dlc but it's still in the files and they can do whatever they want they can forever scratch it or you know maybe feed that content into another dlc and mix it up and make it another its own dlc with all that you know leftover content that they never used for the cops and 
Crooks update. And I think that they definitely should because obviously it's something that everyone wants and everyone would enjoy. And I think it would just be fire. So ho hopefully we'll get that or the Michael DLC this summer. If you guys have any other ideas of what you guys think the summer DLC will be, let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear. Okay, so I want to briefly go over about, you know, the DLC being for the final DLC this summer being for old John. So I truly feel like that could be possible. It's like a 50-50, but I feel like obviously it's been hinted at and Rocks has been pushing for new gen for ever since expanded and enhanced, you know, so obviously they're getting ready, everyone ready for GTA 6 of course so they it's already been leaked that you know obviously gta 6 is going to be only for ps5 and xbox series x and s and for pc and also if you look at all the features now that you know the new gen has compared to old gen it's a lot different and obviously they've been pushing it like i said for a while now it seems like so they're gonna get more and more distant the longer we get closer to gta 6 so i mean i'm not saying sitting here saying that we will not get anything for you know old gen this summer but it's highly possible that we don't and like i said it could be the final update they might still like update it, like give a small update but give a lot of bigger features obviously to new gen but of course when it comes to that i'll keep you guys posted of course and i feel like we're due for a huge huge announcement coming really soon which we're about to get into right now so that is going to bring me to this so i really feel like around this time so it's may 8th so traditionally we always get dlcs in the summer in june or july so right now would be obviously the perfect time to release information and i'll tell you guys why so this event week that rockstar has they extend it for two more weeks and also there's going to be a take two investors call ending at the same time so on the 17th there's a take two investors call and they extended a, a event week for i believe the hard mode for some sort of mission or event for something in online so they made that extended for two weeks now usually they don't ever extend stuff like that you know extra long for like a couple weeks unless they're about to make an announcement on top of there being a take two investors call they want to obviously you know push you know the sales out and for marketing purposes they want rockstar to pu push out a trailer or you know just anything a teaser to get things hyped for the summer because people are just starting to get out of school you know for summer vacation and whatnot so they want obviously to pe to, for people to start getting hyped so definitely stay tuned for these next couple weeks or maybe even sooner so stay tuned right here on the channel make sure to keep you guys posted of course of all the latest and greatest gta news and much more rp content live streams and so much more so make sure you guys stay tuned right here on the channel notifications turned on make sure you guys join the discord link will be down below and make sure you guys of course leave a like on the video it'd be greatly appreciated and with all that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one this is my drama have a good one and i'm out peace